Hey guys, it's Bena. Welcome back to Strife. In the last part, we broke into the prison and freed everybody. And in this part, we're gonna I'll check out the power. We got a spy, so we're gonna talk to him. But uh, first, let's head over to the medic place. And if you talk to this guy after doing that, he goes stamina implant, and he gives you a stamina implant, which gives you 10 max health, which is neat. Uh, there's uh, there's a lot of there's a few upgrades. Uh, and I'll be hunting them all down. You can also talk to this guy, and he'll teach you something which gives you accuracy. And accuracy is dang good in this game because everything is so inaccurate. At least the guns. When you get when you get to like the rocket launcher, it's not as <laughs> you don't really need accuracy as much because it kills everything. But anyway, let's head back to the town because now we are heading around to the. Uh, power place over here remember kill with stealth instead of force you won't set off the alarms okay <laughs> okay so uh yeah so let's go in and so there yeah so now we're checking out the power station the power so yeah now this place you can stealth it but stealthing in this game is a bit tricky because basically it means don't use any weapons and don't uh, set off any alarms. Now there's a few points in the area that will have alarms, but which is why there's a sneaky path around that. But anyway, let's talk to this guy. Get back to work now. Okay. If you hit this button, it deactivates that door, which is kind of neat. Unfortunately, there's bars in front of it, but uh, we'll get around to that later. You, one thing I kind of like is that this is actually, this area is visible from the town. That is actually kind of the town over there. Of course, if you know your doom, it's a different map, but pfft, stop it. Uh, so we can actually walk around the building, which is kind of neat, but uh, what we got to do is find the spy, and the spy is somewhere on the inside, but we'll also talk to this guy, and he's like, what unpleasant description. That's, that's nice. And that will deactivate the uh, doors on the side, and I believe that, does that deactivate this one? Yeah, it does. <laughs> You'll see right there, there's a laser on the bottom. But, and you also need a key, dang it. <laughs> okay. But you can talk around hey, and... Hey, leave me alone. If they catch us wasting time, we get dead. Or extra work. <laughs> or worse, expelled. So yeah. Uh, you can push these barrels, can you? No. Okay. You can do a pro jump off the barrel. I can't, but maybe you can. You at home, you the players. Get back to work. Alright, but uh, this guy is hiding just kind of around here. Ah, I got word from Nacer that you'll be coming. I have a way to get you inside the power station, but it's on the risky side. Alright, I stole an ID from the corpse of some fool who fell into the reactor's coolant pit. Blat, instantly fry. That, that's a great comment. Tell whoever asks that you're the replacement worker for Mr. Christie. It's just dumb enough to work. Oh, and you might want to check out the storeroom that's right above us. Hmm, sounds like weapons. We can always use more firepower. And the only thing is that he doesn't actually give you, like, a key to use to open that door, the gold key. So, you're kind of stuck without one for a while. Uh, but we can definitely go there on our way out. Now, what we want to do is that We've got this ID, uh, and we can use it to open this door and head into here. Now, there's a couple of neat things that you can do, particularly, uh, I believe it's a bit later, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But you can activate these kind of switches on the side, which is quite convenient. And uh, it, lowers, it raises these platforms. Now, there's an alarm trigger here, which means... If we're not gonna do the stealth, we're not gonna go in here. But if you want to go loud, you can just go in here and progress through the area in a different, like, way. Uh, first though, we're gonna uh, figure out where we gotta go. And I believe what we want to do is, uh, this this door is where we need to go. Move along, or taste metal. What a great comment. Uh, again, you can't really go anywhere based on here. So, we're gonna need to find a completely different route. And one kind of neat thing we can do, and by the way, you can't open this door from the back side, which is a bit weird, you have to actually open it from there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find a sneaky, sneaky peeky route. And that sneaky peeky route is outside here, where you'll see there's this lovely doorway. 
we'll climb up here. I said climb, dang it. Climb, my pretties. And, uh, yeah. So we'll go over here and, uh, we got a door that we can open. Now, we're on the inside of a bit. Now, this is a bit tricky. What you want to do is you want to kind of sneak down here. And Such you want to... pressure. At this rate, we'll be back to normal ship soon. We're pumping tons of power to the castle. And I'm almost finished logging those new weapons. What do you think? We're backed up on stock? This sounds too easy. But let's give it a shot. Are you deaf? I just told you how busy I am. Get back to work. All right. No, so for some odd reason, I don't even know, despite the fact that there is a guy clearly looking at you here, you can stab him. Does this guy care? This guy did care. Dang it. Uh, stab him in this direction. Okay, who cares? He's got the gold key, and that's important. Now, what you want to do is, uh... Ooh, nice. Now, there's a bit of a kind of pathway here but there's a sneaky peeky route which you can go via here now if you want to do this all stealthy here's a bit of an annoying part is that you'll go up this lift and then there's just a guy here and you just gotta stab him you can't shoot him because otherwise you'll trigger the alarm so you just gotta stab this robot and yeah basically blow him up uh, why is it not why is it not doing it Maybe it's just back out of here. I think I screwed it. Uh, oh no, there, yeah, you just jump. I don't mean to sound alarmist, but if they keep pushing the power crystal, the card is gonna flaw and then shatter and then boom! Boom! Okay. So, uh, you wanna make sure you don't. <laughs> Technically, we haven't triggered the alarms despite the fact that there's things shooting us. So, what you wanna do is you wanna hit that button and, uh, can't trigger that, but that's okay because we can jump down here. And get shot by that guy. <laughs> as long as we just ignore that room. Uh, actually, I think I've messed this up. Not not completely messed, but just there's a secret path into that room now. We gotta figure out where we gotta go. I think I gotta go all the way around, because you jump off a ledge and you're like, Oh, I can't go back. Oh, while we're at it. Right, because I got the gold key. I always keep quick saving because I don't want to accidentally just like walk into this and go. Wah, wah. So you can head in here, and it's got a lot of health and rockets. Ooh. And that is because you can actually get the missile launcher right here. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to get it normally. So if you do kill that guy and you know figure out he does have the gold key. You can grab all that beautiful stuff. Will we get around to using the rocket launcher? Definitely. Definitely soon. Don't you worry. This game has a... As, like, not everything is stealthable. And in that part, I will be, like, using a variety of the weapons. But, uh, there's definitely a lot of health lying around, I've noticed. I think it's just because... This guy's being a bit of a jerk. There's a spider on the roof, and that's got me a little bit worried, but, uh... So yeah, now if we head in here, I believe maybe... Oh yeah, yeah, we're supposed to go around here. Nope. No, uh... There's some way I've completely forgotten. Ass! Screw it. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. Let's just trigger the alarms and do it old school. This missile launcher is oddly not as effective as you'd expect. And particularly getting hit by turrets is kind of annoying. What you want to do is you want to hit this switch right here. Which uh, triggers a bit of a walkway around the outside here. And you'll see the lovely... Uh, we can't put walls above, or floors above other floors in Doom. So we just have to make these weird, like, walkways. You know, the kind. But if you do head around all the way, I believe you go to a different part. There we go. What's a bit weird is that despite the fact that you've got, like, all the alarms on you, 
There are definitely some people that you can talk to, like in the middle of everything. Like this guy. Who are you? Only clearest level cool personnel are permitted in this area. About time you showed up. Go talk with Ketrick in the core. Oh, and take this key card. Don't want you getting shot on your first day. If you don't get to work, you'll get shot anyway. Move your tunic. <laughs> ah. These guys on the ceiling, just that melee attack is ridiculous. So, uh, now he tells you to go to the area room thing, and what he's referring to is, uh, there's a hallway somewhere, flick that switch, I think it's down, yeah, it's down here, I think, oh, with that lift, yeah, yeah, now if you're stealthing, of course, you've got a lot less things to contend with. Almighty programmer is so paranoid of infiltration that he's locked up the computer core. How am I supposed to get my work done? The only way in is the suicide run. It's a surefire way to get killed, but that's not important right now. Go down the lift, you're so inclined. Ooh, I'm glad I'm in hiding, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, so the suicide run is through here. And basically what you have to do is you just gotta hit the switch on the other end. It's pretty hard, right? And then you're like, oh. Surprisingly, the bits with the uh, construction-y lines are actually the safe area. So you wanna just kinda duck through like that. Not too hard, but of course, taking the hits, not as pleasant as you'd want it to be, I guess. So uh, we can also head up here, which has a lot of guys in the way, and th yeah, this is this is actually the door on the other side. So, yeah. Now there was a switch on the inside here, and that actually uh, hold on. got some guys in the way. It's kind of annoying. Oh, ran out of ammo. Ooh. Oh, to the rocket launcher. Cause look how much ammo you get for it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But you can head in here, and this counts as a secret area, which is kind of neat. But what's even neater? Is that the other side also counts as one where I can't pick up things? So yeah, I believe we got the key card to get into the uh, this room. Now what you want to do is that you want to equip one of these environmental suits because when you head in here, this place is actually like toxic, so to speak. Uh, but well, maybe this area. Who knows? Surprisingly, work. these guys don't attack you. I don't know why. Sure, but uh, if you head up here. Uh, by the way, if you're stealthing, you just have to get up to this ledge and talk to this guy. Sleep and get tortured. What a life. Say, uh, you the replacement for the careless pit diver? Yeah, right. Okay, get your ass to work. Go talk to Ketrick. Bring the walkway up using the switches, then use this ID for the elevator. None of your business. Go talk to Ketrick. Okay. You can also flick these two switches. What do they do? Something. I think. Oh, I think they, uh, they trigger the floors back in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that that takes its time coming up. And then... We just go up a lift, and... Yoda the ball, so stand back you, guy yeah, here. You. you aren't cleared for this area. Let me have your key card. This. I am in such a bad mood. This is garbage. Wait here. Ah, oh, screw it. Gods, kill this intruder. So it's by this point there, it's like, yeah, you go loud anyway, but like, you're right here. So one thing, I think the best spot is... Getting rid of that guy. Getting rid of a few of these guys, and then there's the crystal. Did I just blow it up? Yeah, it did. There we go. Okay, sweet. Now it's blown up. Which means you can get out of here. You don't have to really stick around. Let's get lost. <laughs> and, then, and then you'll get to this point and be like, how do I open the door? Ah. This guy also has a key card. It's one of the bits, but... Ah! Make a run for it. Michael Bolton. Ah, ah. Ah. I never saw it coming. So despite well, the fact that there's all these command alarms... Feels it safe to attack. Mesel's arranged for Raleigh to give you gold and some training, and visit the medic for strength. Okay, so that's basically a hint saying... The Order thinks it is secure in its castle. Wrong. If you open the gate, they'd be easy pickings. And for that, we have to go down into the sewers. 
head along the river across from the governor's mansion. So basically, that first line gives away the fact that if you go to... Wait a minute. If you go to this guy... <whistles> definitely I know this guy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it gives you an accuracy plus. I believe the... Oh, sorry, not the armor. The uh, medic right here. And if you talk to this guy... He gives you some stamina as well, which is neat. So we got 20 and 20, which is neat. Uh, so anyway, uh, I guess with that, I guess I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time on Strife, where I guess the sewer, the, the obligatory sewer level in a, every 90s video game. See you kids next time. Bye bye.